We've been complaining too much and Bloxburg is finally doing it, allowing us to submit assets. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys every single item that I'm hoping to get submitted into Bloxburg. And these assets that I made were literally taking me all this week to make it. So it's Friday, new video, finally here, ready to do this, and we're going to submit some assets to Bloxburg. I'm going to do that next week, probably recording me submitting it and everything. But, you know, let's just get in right to the first item that I actually made. So my first item that I made right here is this modern folding coffee table. So I got this image off of Google um, and I kind of got the inspiration from it. I'm like, ooh, this looks pretty nice. Why don't I make it in Roblox Studio so that we can probably submit it to Bloxburg? And let me tell you this, it was such a pain to do. I had to do all the legs, so the legs I had to like do and was like, I tried to start it in Blender because you know, starting in Blender was pretty easy for me, but I couldn't do it. Like, you know what, why don't we just do this in Roblox Studio and submit it to there? Like, you know, where is it? The coffee table legs, those literally had to be submitted like so many times onto Roblox Studio because I kept messing it up. But <laughs> anyways, um, right here, so, the only thing that was a mesh that I was imported from Blend, for, imported to Roblox, imported from Roblox Studio to Blender was legs and everything else was so much easy. And I really like this, I really like how it turned out and you like, you know, you can really see that much of the vibes through all the, my, um, all well, my assets are like, you know, derived from modernizing things. Anyways, we're gonna go now on to my second item. So my second item I made is this four tier industrial vintage shelf. So this four tier industrial vintage shelf um, came from another Google image. Um, so I call it the industrial vintage shelf, not the four tier. Um, Cause like I could do it like, you know, having it two tier or three tiers, but I didn't want to do that. So it's just going to be like, you know, uh, industrial vintage self and maybe in the future I could maybe make it so that it's like you know four tier I mean not four tier it's already four tier three tier or something like that but you know this one wasn't that much of a pain but the legs were a pain to edit um, I had to make sure that all the legs were you know, like you know properly proportioned on here and I, I got it I got it they're all properly proportioned now so you know I made sure with all these items over here that they all work within Bloxburg. So with these books, I used this book, these books over here to make sure that the items would fit on the bookshelf and they do. So that's how I know I can submit this to Bloxburg. Um, but yeah, I got this, I got this thing from Google and I really like how it turned out. A, it, I really want to do like modern vintage industrial, um, sort of, um, you know, models, meshes, all these to submit to Bloxburg because you know we've all been complaining that we need more um, furniture items and I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I'm not figuring out how to do it. I couldn't figure out which furniture to do. So these are my first two items on Sun whatever day they announced that we could do it. Um these were the first two items I believe the day after that I did these two items right here. And like I just kind of like you know stopped doing it and then I came up with my third item my fourth item my fifth item and all of that so <laughs> anyways that is that that's what this item looks like I really like it if you, do you like it because I like it anyways let's go on to my third official items that I made for Bloxburg so right here I have my two rustic modern beds so I just searched up this random search term on Google, finding like different beds that I can create because when I saw people doing some asset submissions, a lot of the asset submissions that they were doing was like more like shelving and like, you know, different items. Like I saw this one item where someone made this like, you know, pack that was for um, Bloxburg and it had a little bed in it. I'm like, I've, I actually wanted to submit a bed before to Bloxburg. And let me tell you this, hold on, let me just grab this bed right here so when I was making my items the bed was like this big when I was making it for like this was back in like 2017 when I made my models this big because you know I did not know the scaling sizes of different things 
thought that looked normal. So that's why I have like, like, you know, this little thing over here that helps me size everything. So now each of these are sized correctly in all, in all. Um, but these two beds, modern rustic bed, I did think I got these off of Google. Um, I think I got the idea off of Google when I got the images, but you know, these beds, um, here, so let's do the double bed. Let's, um, color the double bed. I think, yeah, use part color. We can color this institutional white and put that smooth plastic. And, oops. Institutional white and smooth plastic. And let's just do this, like, more of, like, you know... More of like a gray color to that also smooth plastic so like you can see that you, okay i hate how my i hate how my um how my keyboard does that sometimes um but you can see how it looks pretty nice and like you know it could be the same thing with this bed but it's like you know a single bed so it's like you know modern rustic and not that industrial but it's it still is modern i wanted to go for like modern and in, industrial items because that's what i kind of did with this and you know I really like these. I really like these items. They really turned out really nice. Um, but yeah, back in 2016 and 2017 when I was submitting these items, I was actually, when I showed you that Big Sky's bed, I actually submitted one item, which was a couch. It was like a sectional. It's just a model that I found off the toolbox. Was, at that time, I did not know Roblox Studio. I did not know how to make items like I do now. Um, but... I was like, you know, let me just submit this because, you know, I really want an L couch. And so, so they ended up adding the item because someone made a mesh of it. And I'm like, ooh, that looks so cool. I love it. it. I use it in like my living room today because like, you know, it's my favorite item. It was an item that I actually wanted in the game and they actually put it in there and I was so, I was so happy about it. Um, but there's a few things I'd actually suggest for Bloxburg, which was, you know, building where you could have add people to your plot so they can build with you um i think it was also another one was wall trims and opening and closing cabinets so that you could put some items in there and all those different things and a lot of those really came in to blocksburg and you know they're probably planning all those but you know i suggested them probably other people did too but anyways this these are my these are my items so far these three items. So now we're gonna go on to my fourth item. All we hold the Coeptus statue, almighty Coeptus. So my fourth item I made was the Coeptus statue. It's a joke item. Probably not going to submit it. If I do, Coeptus, if I submit this, you better add it, Coeptus. Um, but my Coeptus statue, I really like it. Um, all I did was in my plugins over here, Already plus load character plugin. I just typed in Coeptus R6, put it on there. Um, took the model. I think I scaled him up a little bit. I think. Here, let me just go into my toolbox and mesh this Coeptus because I think I scaled him up. Yeah, I did. Okay, I scaled. I scaled him up a little bit. But yeah, I made. It took me like about maybe like less than a minute to make this because you know it's just so easy. I put this into Blender to then create this Coleptus statue right here with this mesh. So pretty much really easy. Done been there, done that. So that was that that's that that's that item. I swear if I submit this and it doesn't come into Bloxburg, Coleptus, I quit. But I'm probably not going to submit this, but if I do, it better be submit. It better be added into Bloxburg so that we can have a ton of Coeptus um, statues around our house and, like, maybe make a Coeptus shrine because we all love Coeptus. And, you know, I can kind of see another YouTuber who will make a secret room with a ton of Coeptus statues in there because they kind of already did that with Coeptus pictures. Um, anyways, um, let's go on to my fourth and fifth, I think. I have no idea. All right, so we're back with the fifth and sixth items. They're brand new wall trims. So over here, let me get this out. We have this arched wall trim, arched curved thingy along with this right here as well. These two wall trims. 
So in my in my house currently so far with the arched wall trims, the curved wall trims, I currently have those in my house but used like structural items. And you know, when I was making this, I'm like, I really want this as a wall trim. It would be really nice if this was a wall trim. So that way, like, you know, um, you could differentiate between like windows and all those other things and stuff. But what I was what, what I was what I was trying to do is like these you could currently make these with structural items. And I didn't want, like, you know, a lot, a lot of people can have structural items and use them because they don't have advanced placing. And you're like, you know, it kind of just, kind of like structural items, there's a lot of cool things like used in modern homes, farmhouses, when I was trying to make my, one of my sister's homes, trying to find ideas, I saw this and I implemented it into my mansion. It was a pain to make look at structural items because I don't know how to use structural items. But these were really, these really are really good wall trims. I hope, hopefully if I do submit these, I'm going to submit these, obviously, these wall trims, because I really love the wall trims. And I want more wall trims than we currently have in Bloxburg. Because, like, you know, I think it'll bring a lot more, like, you know, builds in there and like, stuff like that. But with these, these were inspired by my Bloxburg house. Um, inspired by different Bloxburg YouTubers who did speed builds and used this type of design for structural items. And obviously not everyone can use structural items, so which that's where I got this. And you know, I think it really turned out pretty nice. But if you get all up close, you can kind of see this right here. It's just like, you know, don't worry about it. Because who's going to care? Who's going to be a Bloxburg and be like, oh my god, that's so ugly. They're just literally just going to walk by. And like, this is literally just going to be in the hallway and walk by and maybe like, have like a painting here and stuff. But you know, that's that wall trim. This other wall trim right here, I got it from... I got it from Google, um, and the picture on Google it literally showed these two colors the same. So, right here. Ooh. So, if we get this right here, which is silver flip flop, that's a color. I so I think people just figured they're just ran out of color days. But you're right, right here. It just it didn't have that little bit of depth perception. Just looked a little bit weird. But with these two different colors, you have your panel one and you have your panel two. Um, and I think, I think it really pops. The room really pops if we have this. Um, and these are made from Google. Um, so this is my um, curved wall trim. Modern curved wall trim. And this is my modern panel wall trim. Um, you have those wooden panel wall trims. Um, and kind of go through the wall. Kind of go like on the wall. They kind of go on the wall. And then the other ones, like, you know short a little bit and I kind of want to do this because I feel like in my house one of my rooms these would really fit in one of my house in one of the rooms in my house in Bloxburg and these really need to be in Bloxburg more of these wall trims like come on Coleptus if I submit these you better add these wall trims because guess what they're going to be there my next item is this um carpet the striped carpet and again structural items you got structural again the resize tool advanced placing everyone can use it so this is where this carpet comes in. You could color it different colors. Like there's like there's four different colors. So you can color this like four different colors in Bloxburg and like you know and have like maybe four different materials, stripes, this, that, or whatever. However they do it. Um but you know, blue gradient kinda did like that for like the simple side of it. But you know, that's pretty much it. That's that's all it is. It's like all these all this only took me like maybe under one minute and these are like all my items and I'm hopefully submitting next week but yeah those are like pretty much every single item that I made anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy and you guys do want to see these items submitted into Bloxburg I don't know I'm gonna submit them hopefully they get added or whatnot I don't care um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy subscribe like whatever and i hopefully will see you guys in the next one um and one more thing before we go if you guys have any other furniture items that you or any other type of item that you want that you hopefully want added in bloxburg tell me in the comments below um probably make one if it's not already added into bloxburg or if other people aren't making it and you know i'll attempt to make it and if it turns out really good i'll submit it so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.